Before we jump in and I give you what, you know, you've been waiting for with the PC adapter to see how it is with Half-Life Alex in today's video and the setup process, I got to give a bit of context. Essentially, I had a bunch of different things running in terms of recording and I'll take you step by step through what happened before you see it for yourself, just to kind of give context to what's going on. So originally I have my camera set up, my OBS and, you know, the software of PlayStation VR 2 on the PC. Um, and the setup originally uh, had a little bit of a, a crash on my PC because I did it wrong, <laughs> essentially. So that is my bad. Um, and that means that the OBS footage from the initial setup, so the first three minutes or so of this video of me unboxing the thing and plugging it in will be from my Fujifilm camera microphone, which is not great to say the least um, compared to the setup that I was planning to have. So I apologize for that. Past that though, I had to relink my controllers once, um, but after that it worked flawlessly tracking wise, it was all good, but I did have to relink them once, so you'll see me doing that. And then past that, my camera overheated one more time, uh, so you'll see it cut out later on into the video, uh, but it did overheat like once or twice. So if you see me cut out and then cut back in, that is why. Um, but I hope you enjoy my first impressions of the PCVR adapter. Overall, they're very, very positive. Uh, and I also apologize for the first segment of Half-Life Alex. Uh, before I rebooted my camera, my mouse was on screen. That is absolutely my fault. I'm very sorry, but it is fixed after a couple minutes. So uh, future videos with this thing will be a lot more polished, but you're, you're getting to see the, the rough inner workings this time. So I hope you enjoy. And also feel free to subscribe if you're able, of course, all that good stuff. Anyway, let's get on to what you're really here for. Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, with today it's a special one I've been waiting for for a while. I didn't think this would actually arrive for some reason in my head. I just thought, you know, Amazon are gonna take it back, whatever. Uh, but as I've just been informed by my <laughs> watch telling me, the Amazon delivery driver has come and delivered this, the uh, PSVR2 PC adapter. The box is a bit bigger than I thought. Uh, we're not gonna waste any time. It's the one I've been waiting for for a while. We're going to open it. Uh, I'm going to take you through the setup process. I've not done anything with the app yet, so this is all going to be seeing how it works. Um, but I do have, as we'll get into in a minute, uh, a DisplayPort cable, brand new, and a USB uh, Bluetooth adapter, which is one they recommend. I think that's the TP-Link UB500 um, that I'll link in the description below. It's going to be a bit more crude than I usual unboxings because I just want to get in and try this thing. I don't want to set up loads of camera angles like I usually do. I, I just want to, you know, get it going. There we go. Right, don't need that. Yeah, these things are incredibly hard to get a hold of. I don't know what Sony were thinking with their pre-order strategy. There was no pre-order strategy here in the UK. The only reason I got to pre-order one is because I bought the bundle with a PSVR 2 in it from Amazon. We have the manual here. Just don't swallow the product. Cool. And here we go, here it is, uh, the adapter itself. Quite small, um, as a comparison, this is the DPVRA4 cable, and this is like the kind of hub for it, uh, also display port. The Sony one is a bit bigger, but obviously it's a separate product inside of it. Right. I also apologize for the mess that you're gonna see through my uh, pass-through cameras when we plug this thing in. My camera setup is all over the place, my wires are everywhere. So there you go, there's the back of my PC. Um, and what we're gonna do is take, essentially at the back of here, you've got display port, um, your power, and the, the USB cable. So we're gonna take the USB cable, plug it into the back, all the way around, is it? Yep, there we go. So there we go, everything's plugged in now, uh, apart from, <laughs> Uh, the actual PSVR 2. So uh, we'll get that plugged in. Okay, and then the PSVR 2 is just gonna plug in. You see, oh, here, here you go. Just gonna plug in to the front. Right there. Okay. Oh dear, uh, there we go. Open Bluetooth settings, so we've got our Bluetooth settings, and we've got to hold, basically, the PlayStation button and the, the options button on the controller. Yeah, that's that's now blinking, so this should show up as a new device. There we go, there's my left sense controller showing up there. Well, let's try the right one now, shall we? Oh, I'm excited for this. I hope it all works. I hope it all works all right. Well, that's, that's great. So, yeah, my, my OBS did a very fun thing called a crash. So I don't, I, I don't know audio-wise how good that's going to be for you guys, but we're back. Let's give the app another launch and see if we can get it going again. Now let's uh, connect the... I think I might be able to just turn them on now, actually, and they'll connect. 
There we go, they're connected, easy, easy as that. That's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, cool. Uh, connect, I've connected the phones. Pick up your headset, press the function button. There we go. Okay, press and hold. Done all my adjustment, completely fine. I don't really need to do. Yeah, apologies, you didn't get to see the first part of that setup like fully. Um, it's basically what you just saw there. Um, and apologies for the audio quality before we uh, did this, basically. I'm hoping, because basically I'm now going to have to go off my Fuji film instead of my normal mic, so I, I apologize for that. But we, we should be up and running and okay now, so we'll give, it a, we'll give it a go. Okay, so you're now seeing my, hello, that's you, right there. Um, right, so we have our sense controllers. My sense controller isn't moving from where the pointer is at the moment, so we'll see what's going on. Start scanning. So we've now got to scan our room. I don't know whether or not, yeah, it's actually scanning my sense controllers properly. Might have to give it another go. Maybe disconnect and reconnect my controllers. Let's let's give that a try. Let's try disconnecting and reconnecting. All right. Okay. I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna remove both sense controllers and then try and connect them again. Okay. So everything's connected again. Are we getting a better? Ah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're actually good now. Okay. Half Life Alex is now booting up. Um. I have played Alex before. Uh, and I've done a little bit of it. Oh God, it's so weird seeing the controllers in here, you know. That's better, isn't it? Okay. So we have hands. Tracking wise, we're looking okay, I think. Let's uh, see what Half-Life Alex is like, shall we? It feels so surreal playing this on PSVR 2. Absolutely crazy. I'm so excited to, to get into this with this headset, man. It, it's, it's honestly like... <laughs> Oh, the capacitive touch works. Because I've seen nothing about this headset. Oh, mate. This is fantastic. Like... <laughs> I'll need to dig into the Steam settings and stuff, but right now... Oh, I've got snap turn on. That is a big no-go. Let's, uh, let's change that. <laughs> this feels so, like, wrong <laughs> to be playing this on PSVR 2. Oh, it just, it looks, there's no compression. And obviously I played it with no compression before, but there's no compression. With that TP link adapter as well, right now I'm having no, after setting up the controllers and getting them done, I'm having no issues. Um. Wee. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, sorry. There's a game to be played here. I apologize greatly. Uh, my camera did something that in the business we like to call a die, uh, but we're back. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. I might blast a fan at it, actually. But it's crazy seeing this game on this headset now, you know? Let's hope that everything runs smoothly from here. But at the moment, I'm not really having any issues. But I mean, I'm, I'm all my issues are technical ones with the recording, holy shit. <laughs> That's so sick. Look at it go. That's the moment that would like have head haptics would be unreal, wouldn't it? You know, that'd be crazy. I also apologise for my mouse being in the middle of the screen. I was doing display capture before, not uh, not game capture. Hence why my mouse is in the middle of the screen, which I, I've got to apologise for. Yeah, let's do more technical analysis of things. Like in terms of um, yeah, contrast. The black levels are nuts. Um, oh, it's so cool, so cool. But it's just like the, the scale of Alex is, is crazy. Like this coming over here. Imagine the head haptics here. <laughs> I mean, this is just a good PCVR headset, you know? A great one of that. Despite a couple of little issues at the start, right now we're working fine. We're working great, in fact. I'm hoping it keeps up this way. Push. Wait, wait, wait. I, just, I, I want to leave. Just... Goodbye. Oh shit. Uh oh. The controllers went off then though. There was rumble. Again, it's so weird seeing these controllers here. Uh, it's running flawlessly. I'm getting no like black edges or anything like that. It's it's running literally perfect. I'm just so happy I'm able to use this, you know, this headset on PC. And it works well. I'm hoping OBS is capturing okay. Yeah it is. I think. 
But yeah, tracking for me has been literally flawless so far. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, there is more, obviously, like there is in, you know, it's, it's just the nature of the panels. But it's really not bad. There we go. Is there going to be a little bit of rumble like there is normally? Yeah. No proper haptics, obviously, but the rumble does go off. So no, like, targeted haptics, saying, like, kayak VR when rain's landing on your hands. It's not like that. It's more like, um, you know, normal rumble. Can I... Yeah, Cash Russell Magazine, there you <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I mean, it feels, now it feels like, like non-reprojected 120 now that I've lowered down the resolution scale a little bit, which I, I kind of knew I'd had to do. I've got a uh, 6700 XT, which can run VR games well, but it's, um, it's a little much for it, at least in my current setup. How do I store this again? There we go. There we go. We'll play a bit more. We'll play a little bit more. Off we go. Oh, so cool. The fact that I can just use my PSVR 2 setup is, is crazy. Resin. Sorry, buddy. Off you go. Just the, the standard Half-Life Valve physics of just things moving and making the world feel real. That's what I love here. This is properly good for contrast. Holy shit. Little bit of rumble. Again, would be cool if it was natively supported with like the haptics, but... I can't keep complaining about the same thing, really. Like, it still goes off the same as any other headset. You're going to get the same experience as any other headset. It's just not enhanced with PSVR 2, you know? Ah. Yeah, the tracking is flawless now that it's all set up. Not had any issues whatsoever with that TP-Link uh, adapter that they recommended. I don't know about inbuilt Bluetooth. Such a cool world to be in in VR. And it, look, it looks clear, so clear through DisplayPort. Crazy, crazy stuff. Crazy times that we live in that this is possible. It's like something I dreamed about on PSVR 1, just being able to plug in my headset into a PC. And there you go. Yeah, it's like environments like this where it really like thrives with the uh, the OLED. But I'm, I'm honestly blown away by how good this is. I heard that people are having really light problems with Bluetooth. And apart from that one bit in the middle where I had to kind of repair my controllers, that's literally all I've had. This will be a real test of tracking. Can I do... Uh, there we go, easy. Wow, this looks good in the, in the headset. Bloody hell. Yeah, I played on a, um... Oh. Oh. Oh, weird. Yeah, it looks really good. But yeah, I'll be playing a bit of Blade and Sorcery, like F1, 23, BeamNG, uh, Bone Lab, probably if I get around to it. So be, stay tuned on the channel. We're going to be doing a couple more videos over the next couple of days testing out stuff. But a little bit more of Alex first. A little bit more of Alex. Okay. Time to give this to the barnacle. Yeah, the tracking's probably good for throwing, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um, hmm. Oops. Oh, yeah. It looks so grim. They are fucking huge. Like I've played so much G mod and I've seen so many head crabs, but they are massive. Oh, I missed. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I was worried about the tracking, but we, we're sorted. And once I've adjusted the render scale properly, which is was the main issue that I was having at the start, um, and I was very panicked that I was going to lose all my footage, but we're okay. Oh, this is a proper test for the OLED. Oh, hearing the zombie sounds is sick. Off we go. I'm assuming you can also use the PSVR2 mic as well. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, like all the haptics work as you'd expect a normal headset to work. It's not all the PSV2 bells and whistles, obviously, but uh, it just works as, it, as you'd expect normally. And like, yeah, performance-wise, sorted right now. Oh, that's properly contrasty with that explosion. Oh, look at the lighting there. All I do on this channel is gush about lighting, but it's true. Yeah, it's just like the fact that this is working so flawlessly as a piece of your headset. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. And just like sh shows up. 
and is recognized as a thing is mind blowing to me. I never thought it would happen. I never thought I'd see the day. Let's get out of head crab territory. Okay. We are going to call it a day there. Um, thank you all for watching. If you'd like me to continue Half-Life Alex, I'd be happy to play through it on the channel if that's something you'd want to see. Um, but this has been our first little introduction to PSVR 2 on PC. My first impressions are, despite a couple of hiccups at the start, everything has been working like absolutely flawlessly. Uh, and I've really, really enjoyed it, basically. Um, uh, I hope you have enjoyed. I, I have enjoyed. Uh, sorry for some of the technical issues in this video. Um, it's going to have to be stitched together and posted a little bit. But... Uh, Thank you all for watching. Um, thank you to our patrons and YouTube members Luke Bentley, Phil Irving, Hazit Mirza, Ace Gamer, Hippie Pickle, Jin007, A License to Chill, Sun WCF, Fat Controllers, Jason Parker, Lamar Hall, Jordi Bansma, and Lemon64K. So thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one, guys.